In this video we'll be going over some settings on how to stream and record for Pavlov specifically, as there are still a lot of streamers out there, or YouTubers, who still can't do it right. But first let me show you some examples of what a bad recording would look like and to see if you may be affected by this. As you can see here, the border is jumping around a lot and there's generally a lot of small movement in the border that you just really wouldn't want to have in a good video. If your recordings look like this, you're doing it wrong. Oh. Well, shit. Anyway, let's start. So you can find the Oculus Mirror, which will be our main tool for recording, in this location. Now, the first thing you are going to want to do is click on anywhere in this black area. And then you'll see this handy settings menu appear. As you can see here, Time Warp is currently still on and you're going to want to disable it by either clicking on Time Warp or just pressing F6. It's important to turn Time Warp off so you don't get any artifacts or any odd juddery edges. you notice I also turned off the FOV stencil here, so if you're recording for Pavlov, which this video is about, then you're going to want to turn that off. I'll give a small example later on in the video near the end why you should do that, but for now you're just going to have to trust me. You can also set if you want to record your right or your left eye, depending on which eye you use to aim down sights in Pavlov. With the FOV scale, specifically the x-axis, you can set a much higher field of view so that viewers can get a much nicer view of your surroundings. It also makes the game look and feel much less claustrophobic. I'll demonstrate the differences later on. I personally use around 120%, but you can change it to whatever you feel comfortable with or what looks best for your stream or recording. You should consider though that this does use slightly more GPU power when you turn it up though. There used to be a bug where if you launched Pavlov and then the mirror, the mirror would act all funky, so just for staying on the safe side I recommend you always launch the mirror before Pavlov. Now let's have a look at some of the FOV differences. This is what happens with the mirror if you don't turn off the FOV stencil. You will get these awkward looking bars on the sides of your recording. And that's really all there is to it. If that helped you out in any way, drop a like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, you know, follow me on Twitch, subscribe, all that good stuff. Alright, peace out.